Boeing. And this particular company only lasted for 15 years, then they were bought out by the Ericsson Company, which lasted into the mid-30s there. Oh, the yeah, they, we've got a fire underneath here. This has a gas burner, but this and this is an Ericsson, which is the same as mine, only a little bit different manufacturer. The air heats up in the bottom here, hot air rises, so it's this tin can in here, it's actually just a tin can, doesn't touch the sides or anything. It comes up, takes the hot air up with it, the hot air gets up in here, the water pump on the outside here pumps water in around the water jacket here, cools the air, the air is compressed again, this piston up here is offset to this one, works just the opposite, it shoves the air back down by this tin can, it's reheated again here, the same air goes back up, that air's captive in there all day, it never leaves, it's back and forth all the time. Your mechanism here is offset, One one's coming up when the other's going down, and uh, your water pump on the outside here pumps water. Originally, this pump would pump water up 100 feet into the air to a storage tank, okay? Okay, and, and the... the uh it's it's basic. It's based on uh, the the uh, the cycle, right? Yeah, the st uh, Stirling the Stirling cycle. Yeah, Stirling cycle. Stirling cycle is, is hot air expanding, cooling, expanding, cooling all the time. And, there's, and you could, there's no exhaust. The same air is there all the time. You can use any kind of fuel. This one has a, a gas burner under here, but you can use wood, charcoal, oil, whatever you want to heat your air in. Sure. There. Okay. And. and uh, and, and actually, these things, uh, how old is this machine, this did you say? This machine was built in 1895. Okay. So it's a, and this particular company only lasted 15 years. Then they were bought out by the Ericsson Company, which lasted into the mid-30s there. So these are a very rare engine. Right now, we know of 21 of them in Canada and the United States. That's the total existence of all only all, 21 uh, engines, yes. Only 21. Only 21. So this this was the 21st one they knew of, yeah, when I got it for going. So, uh, so what do you, what took its place? Was it the uh, the steam engine? You think? Well, steam and electricity, electric pumps. There, electric pumps. You throw a switch, you got instant water. These take about eight to ten minutes to start pumping water, okay. but then you can go away and leave them. When the fire goes out, they stop. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And so they were used. Uh, uh, out, out in the bonies where uh, you didn't have electricity. Yes, the, 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 this particular one was brought to an island up here back probably in the 1890s on an island up here. It was set up in a uh, small building down by the lake and would pump the water from the lake up to a storage tank behind the cottage and then when it stopped, you don't need to shut anything off, it just automatically stops by itself. You have running water back into the cottage from this tank for the next day or two days or whatever the tank holds there, yeah. And it, it has no maintenance, there's no maintenance whatsoever, just build a little fire in the morning, you're away with it, yeah. So the, these old machines will run forever, and uh, you know, not, not a lot of maintenance. The, no. Uh, uh, and what I'm amazed at is how quiet it is. Yes, there's very little maintenance. There's two leather washers in there that you have to replace over the years, but I've replaced them when I restored this one. And uh, it's been running for three years. As you see it now, there's been nothing done to it other than drop of oil here and there and build a fire in, and it's, it's away then, yeah. All right, hey, thanks for your time. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>